Mastering Everyday English. Chance it, explained. Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel, where learning English is both fun and engaging. Today, we're diving into a phrase you might have heard quite often, chance it. Have you ever wondered what it means when someone says they're going to chance it? Well, you're in the right place to find out. Get ready to add another phrase to your English toolkit. The phrase, chance it, is an informal way of saying that someone is going to try something where the outcome is uncertain. To chance, something means to take a risk or to do something hoping for a positive result, even though there's a possibility of a negative one. It's like rolling the dice in a board game, not knowing if you'll advance or face a setback. To better understand how chance it is used, let's look at some examples. I'm not sure if we'll make it on time, but let's chance it. Here, it means to attempt to arrive on time despite the risk of being late. The weather looks bad, but I'll chance it and go for a hike. In this case, the person is willing to risk going out despite the potential for bad weather. This old car might not make the journey, but I'm going to chance it. This implies taking a risk by relying on something uncertain. In this case, an old car. Each example shows a situation with an uncertain outcome, and the decision to chance it implies a willingness to take on the risk. You might wonder when it's appropriate to use this phrase. Chance it is typically used in casual, informal situations. You wouldn't use it in formal writing or in serious business contexts. It's perfect for conversations with friends or in informal settings when you're making a spontaneous decision or taking a small risk. Interestingly, chance it can be slightly altered to fit different contexts by changing the verb tense or adding words. For example, chancing it, as in, he's chancing it by not bringing an umbrella. Chanced it, as in, we chanced it, and luckily we found seats. These variations retain the original meaning of taking a risk but adjust the tense to match the situation being described. In some English-speaking cultures, taking risks is often seen as a positive trait, associated with courage and adventure. That's why you might hear, chance it, used in a variety of contexts, from someone deciding to try a new food to someone starting a new business. Understanding this cultural nuance can give you deeper insight into the phrase's usage. So, there you have it, a complete rundown of the phrase, chance it. It's a handy expression to convey the idea of taking a risk and is commonly used in everyday English conversations. We hope this video has shed some light on how and when to use chance it. Remember, language learning is all about taking chances, so don't be afraid to chance it and use your new English skills in the real world. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.